Hello, everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we're going to continue the discussion about generalized Markov models. So today, we are going to look at the re renewal reward processes. So what is renewal reward process? And basically, renewal reward process defines CT, T greater than or equals to zero. CT is the total net cost that is the cost minus reward incurred up to time t, okay? From just in the interval from zero to t. So this cost, total net cost may increase or decrease taking positive and negative values, okay? Which is a continuous time stochastic process. And the state space is minus infinity to infinity. So this CT is the total net cost by time T. CN is the net cost incurred over the nth interval. For example, C4 is the net cost incurred in this time interval. So the renewal process, let's revisit the renewal process we discussed in the last lecture. The renewal process is a, event count, the total number of event by time t. So you see this is nt. So this is count, how many events? This is time. So it shows uh, like a stairs. And uh, inter-arrival time, this is t1, t2, t3, and then you have tn. The time of the uh, nth event. So s4 equals to t1, t2, t3, t4, you added all of them together. The nth event, the time of the nth event will be t1 plus t2 to all the way to tn. Now, ct, that is the total net cost by time t, and the cn is the net cost incurred over the nth interval. So if you, by time t, you have already got how many event? Uh, nt, right? So you have uh, nt, uh, nt time intervals. So you add all of them together. So you got ct. So cn is the total net cost up to time sn minus the total net cost up to time sn minus one, the difference. And the tn is the uh, nth interval time equals to Sn minus Sn minus one. So the cumulative process, this is a cumulative because Ct is up to total net cost up to time T. So it's, it's also called a renewal reward process, which is also called a cumulative process. If Tn, Tn is the inter-arrival uh, time, and a Cn is the net cost in, incurred over the nth interval, it's a sequence of IID bivariate random variable. You see, this is a bivariate. That means Tn is a random variable. Cn is a random variable. These two together is a bivariate random variable. So now let's have a look at an example. Battery replacement. Ln, lifetime of the nth battery. Tn, minimal Ln of N3. So the nth interplacement time is either uh, at time three or uh, upon failure before time three. So the cost $75 for a planned replacement, 125 for an unplanned replacement. So there are $50 difference. So why unplanned replacement costs more? That is because if it is unplanned, then there will be unexpected delays, towing, disruption to normal life and a work, so let's put it in this way. If Ln less than three, this is unplanned because the lifetime is less than three. If Ln greater than three, we replace that three. This is a plan, so it's only $75. So the cost over nth interval depends on its length, okay? Depends on the length. So Cn depends on Tn, and Tn equals to minimum Ln three. So Tn and the Cn is a sequence of IID bivariate random variables. So Ct 
the total net cost by time t is a renewal reward process. Let's have a look at another example. Suppose we have a two-state machine, okay? Up and down. So this is only one machine, but with two states, up and down, cycle. So the, when the machine is up, has an up time, the ends up time. So produce revenue at a rate $8 per unit time, okay? Dn is the ends down time, the repair cost at a rate B dollars per unit time. So the inter uh, renewal cycle is UN plus DN. So every TN is UN plus DN. And the UN is exponentially distributed with lambda and DN is exponentially distributed with mu. Okay. So CN is the net cost over the N cycle. So this is a cycle. CN equals to B, dn, the cost, minus the reward, minus aun. So ct, the total net cost by time t, is a renewal reward process. If tn, cn is a sequence of iid bivariate random variables. cn, of course, is OK for this bivariate random variable if cn is dependent on tn. So here we have two uh, examples of the uh, renewal reward process. What we are adding here is CN, the net cost over the N cycle. And uh, so we add one more thing, uh, one more variable on the renewal process. We add the cost and all you can call it a reward. And, uh, and then we have CT. CT is the uh, total net cost by time T. This is the cumulative process. And uh, this is the CN is the net cost over the N cycle. Now let's have a look at the long run cost rate. So if CT and T greater than or equals to zero be a renewal reward process with the corresponding sequence of IID bivariate random variables, T and CN. So the long run cost rate, CT is the total net cost by time T and divided by T is actually equals to the expectation of the cost, uh, net cost incurred in the first, in the first uh, renewal cycle divided by the inter-event time, the first inter-event time. So we can do the proof. This can be any, uh, can be i's or can be n's, uh, can be n's, n's uh, cycle net cost. And also this can be interval n. So CT over T, because they follow the same distribution, CT over T, and this actually equals to the summation from one to NT CN divided by T. And uh, if we put NT into this picture, this is the one to NT CN divided by NT. This is actually the expectation because you have a, you have a, the net cost over n cycles and divided by how many cycles you may have when t goes to infinity, right? So nt, the number of cycles, and then nt divided by t. So by strong law of large numbers, this, this actually converts to the expectation of cn or C, uh, c1 as t goes to infinity. And we prove that this is the long run renewal rate. This is one over expectation. Then we have this result, okay? Now let's have a look at how to use this result to calculate long run cost rate. Suppose for the battery replacement, what is the long run cost following the preventive maintenance of replacement policy, that is TN, you replace at time three or upon failure if the failure time is before three. So CT is a renewal reward process, limit CT over T equals to expectation C1 over T1. So what is expectation of C1? When it is greater than three, this is 75, okay? And uh, when the lifetime is greater than three, we replace that three, this is a plan, right? When it's not time is less than three, this is unplanned. And because the lifetime is uniform distributed one, and between one and five. 
So this is about uh, 50%, and this is about 50%, 0.5. So you add all of them together, the expectation of the cost in the first uh, uh, renewal cycle is actually 100. And the expectation T1, this is what we discussed before, okay, in the previous slides. And uh, this is 2.5. So 100 divided by 2.5 is 40. So this is the long run cost rate following the preventive replacement policy. What about replace on pound failure? If replace on pound failure, this is all, they are all unplanned, so 125. And uh, the inter-event inter time, the expectation is three because it's distributed at the lifetime is this, right? One five. So this is 41.67, which is much greater than the cost is much higher than the preventive replacement policy. Let's, let's also have a look at the long run cost rate for the two state machine. So compute the long run cost per unit time. Suppose the upper time exponential lambda, downtime exponential mu. So the revenue is A unit, cost is B unit per unit time. This is same as before. We know that the expectation of the, this U, UN will be one over lambda. Expectation of DN or D1 equals to one over mu. So limit the long run cost rate is expectation C1 over T1, but T is actually U1 plus D1. So this is actually one over lambda plus one over mu. And the expectation B D1, expectation D1, is actually one over mu. So this is B over mu minus A, A over lambda. So after a little bit of rearrangement, we got the long run cost rate for the two state machine. So now we've finished this both examples, battery and two state machine. So this uh, lecture actually uh, wraps up uh, our discussion about a renewal process. So let's go back uh, to the outline. Uh, in the next lecture, we're going to look at a semi-Markov processes and the long-term analysis.